at least this one has gameplay. So this is an activity pack, which means it's a bunch of games in a bundle. Unfortunately, this was not the kind of game I was hoping for. The art, as always, is 2D pixel graphics. Each game sort of has its own style about it, with reversey, for instance, being little bugs or germs, something like that. But the matching game sort of looks like Mahjong. The music is alright. It's a little like the Fatty Bear music that I touched on in that review, but with less goofy sounds mixed in. <laughs> Speaking of goofy sounds, the sound effects are the same stock library that Humongous always uses, so not much new there. There are 14 to 15 games, if you consider coloring a game, each with its own style, as I said earlier. I'll now read them off from left to right and describe them. So we have checkers, which is checkers, X's and O's, or tic-tac-toe, depending on your sexual preference. A matching game, where you match cards from memory. A picture puzzle game, except instead of sliding the pieces around, you swap out tiles for similar pictures. Pinball, which is less pinball and more make your own pinball that won't really work right. A spelling game, where you spell things. Reversi, which I had never played before, so I suppose that was probably about right. Lines and Boxes, I had also never played this one before, but I found it quite fun with your objective to make more one-by-one -one boxes than your opponent. Go Fish, just your average Go Fish game, but with an all-numbers deck of cards. Coloring, which in my opinion isn't a game, but still alright, I guess it is technically an activity. Tangrams, this took me back to when I was but a wee boy in kindergarten. Where I would sit down and play with tangrams, try to out tangram my buds. Who oh, wee takes me back. A word search. I quite enjoyed this one. I have a soft spot for word games in general, so a word search that provides an actual challenge is a welcome addition to any game. A guessing game, which felt similar to very easy terminals that you hack in Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. I'll assume that the string gets longer depending on what, which difficulty you pick, but I'm not really a fan of guessing games in general. This game has a version of Shoots and Ladders, or Snakes and Ladders, or Candy Land. This game calls it on-ramps and off-ramps, but yeah, it's, ge it's a general like, Candy Land format. Uh, it's just as frustrating, too. <laughs> oh god. The last game is called Circus Storming. I don't really know what this is a reference to, but I suppose the game was fun enough. The objective was to reach the goal line with as much fuel as possible, with balloons along the way that give you more fuel by picking them up. Those are all 15 games in the pack. I did my best to describe them. <laughs> Some of them aren't very fun. But I hate games in general, and I'm just here to review them. I had one major issue with this game. It wouldn't let me leave when I tried to do the painting activity. Like, it, it trapped me there. I kept trying to hit the arrow to leave, and it, it wouldn't let me. I had to forcibly close the game. Coloring is a curse. Anyway, that's the, uh, that's Putt-Putt and Fatty Bear Activity Pack. I have one more game to review this video, so stick around for a few more minutes. It's Breakout. It's just Breakout. There's nothing new here. Well, this game is called Putt Putt and Pep's Balloonorama. And it's just Breakout. But you throw a dog into the air as punishment for losing all the balloons. The art is basic, and the backgrounds don't really change. I didn't play much of this game, as I can't stand games like Breakout. Maybe it changes. I don't know. The music is a loop of the same song for every area that I played. As I said in the last sentence, uh, it could change. I couldn't really be bothered to stick around, though. The gameplay is Breakout, with the only difference being if you find a polka-dotted balloon and hit it, some candy and dog treats come out. If you catch them, you get bonus points. There could be more different types of balloons, but whatever. 
the same mechanics as Breakout. They could change, but I couldn't be bothered to get past level 10. The story goes, Putt Putt and Pep have some balloons. Pep lets go of them, and they fly up into the sky. Now Putt Putt and Pep need to hit all the balloons out of the sky. Great. What an amazing story. Wow. That last one kind of sucked. I'm glad the activity pack at least held my attention for more than eight minutes. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you.